St Vincent and the Grenadines is an archipelago of 34 islands that make up what is known as the Windward Islands, together with Dominica, Grenada and St Lucia. Based on the population census of 2001, the current number of inhabitants is now estimated at over 110,000. Tourism currently accounts for the highest income generator in the country and continues to grow. Traditionally, bananas has been the mainstay of the economy with preferential export arrangements to the EU, but over the past 10 years, this has declined substantially. The ADPIU, as it is known, received funding from the European Union with a specific objective to help people towards agricultural diversification. Under Stabex 95 and Stabex 96-97, a total of 11.8 million EC dollars was allocated to the government by the Regional European Union Technical Assistance Team for its agricultural diversification programme administered through its implementation unit. The project manager is Ashley Kane. For many years, banana farmers in St Vincent and the Grenadines have benefited tremendously from banana exports to the United Kingdom and also to the rest of the European Union. This has been so because of the kinds of preferences and preferential access that we have enjoyed from selling bananas in Europe and in the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, all of this has changed. As a small country, we find it very difficult to compete globally with larger countries, with cheaper prices. And uh, MOCO, a banana disease, has recently been discovered in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And uh, we expect that it may create the same kinds of problems which it did in Grenada, where the banana industry was decimated as a result of it. With this reality facing us, fortunately, we in the Agricultural Diversification Program Implementation Unit have resources available to us to assist persons who are interested in making an investment in the agricultural industry. Eunice is a young woman with big dreams. I'm eternally grateful for the help from the diversification from agriculture, which they had assisted me in for the um, upgraded of my building, which I'm operating right now, and for the assistance of the printed bags that they have provided me with. It was a great help to me. I am now able to produce my product to international standards. Very soon, my product would be on the shelves in the Caribbean, starting with Barbados. Walter has 150 wax apple trees, which he can manipulate to flower and fruit in rotation to give him a continuous supply of fruit to sell. I'm very grateful to the ADPIU for the assistance rendered. Previous to the assistance, I harvested in sun and rain, lost a lot of my cartons due to rain, the wet, etc., etc. Now that I have the shed, I could harvest and do my packaging in the shed and minimize my loss, deliver better quality fruits to my customers. I want to say a special thank you to the Agriculture Diversification Program for the cooperation with the assistance they've given me in my wax apple project. Without them, I would not be sitting here today and looking forward to better days ahead. Thank you very much. I just want to say thanks to the ADPIU for assisting me. I just want to use this opportunity to thank the Diversification Program for the assistance that they have given to me. It has been a good help, so thank you. And thank you very much, ADP, and hope that you'll be back again with the same assistance next year. Thank, thank you, ADP, are you?
Just that beggar 